Hi, in this tutorial we will have an overview of audio to face application main features. Let's launch the application. First launch may take a couple of minutes to prepare everything we need. One of such things is building TensorRT engine, which is basically a neural net optimization for your hardware. We need to wait for this process to finish. Once it is done, we are ready to play with the application. Here we see our template mail head mesh, which is already set up to be driven by audio to face neural net. And we can run the audio player to play some pre-selected track. The inference will be performed in real time. The beige hue on the waters of the lock impressed all, including the French queen, before she heard that symphony again, just as young Arthur wanted. Our template head also comes with a skin texture. The beige hue on the waters of the lock impressed all. Let's switch it back to normal map based. Now let's review audio to face application main features. In the audio player, we can select different tracks to play. Are those shy Eurasian footwear? Cowboy chaps? Or jolly earth moving headgear? We can also specify our custom audio source directory. Although it was a bit chilly outside, the moon was bright and a bird was singing a glad and plaintive song about the summer that was coming and all the summers that had passed and all that would be. To reset to our default track, we can hit this reset button. The beige hue on the waters of the lock impressed all. Other audio player features include rewind, track looping, they're wanted. The beige hue on the waters and track range with start and end markers. I can specify range start and range end by sourcing current playback slider position before she heard that symphony again or by directly adjusting corresponding values. Beige hue on the water Track range is also used during animation cache export to specify which part of the animation we want to export. To reset the range we hit reset button. Audio player in default setup also supports hot keys. P for play and pause. Of the lock and pressed all. R for rewind. L for toggling looping. And brackets for sourcing start and end of the track range. Now let's review animation cache exporting capabilities. To export the cache, first we need to select our target mesh for which we want to export the animation. Potentially we can have multiple meshes on the stage, especially in case of complex retargeting pipelines. But here we need a single final mesh. Next we select export directory and file name. File extension will be added automatically. If needed, we can adjust FPS for the sequence to export. We have two options to export the cache, export as USD animation cache and export as Maya cache. Let's export as USD. Since I already have a file with this name in this directory, it will ask for a confirmation to overwrite that file. OK, overwrite. Now let's check out the result. Add some light and play it back. Back to our audio to face application and now let's export as Maya cache. But for this time let's export the animation for only a portion of our track. We'll use track range for that. Here's the piece which we want to export and hit export. Let's see how it looks like. Now let's look at how can we control audio to face neural net at the moment. First of all, a bit of audio pre-processing. Prediction delay parameter controls the offset in time for the audio data being fed to the neural net. Sometimes we need to adjust it for better audio and visual synchronization. Input strength corresponds to volume multiplier for the input audio. After the neural net predicts the mesh pose, we can apply some post-processing. In current implementation, we perform this separately for upper and lower part of the face. For example, here's the effect of change in strength and temporal smoothing for the upper part. The beige hue on the waters of the lock impressed all, including the French queen, before she heard that symphony again, just as young Arthur wanted. The beige hue on the waters of the lock impressed all, including the French queen, before she heard that symphony again, just as young Arthur wanted. And similar for the lower part. The beige hue on the waters of the lock impressed all, 
including the French Queen, before she heard that symphony again, just as young Arthur wanted. The beige hue on the waters of the loch impressed all. Upper and lower facial parts are blended together using a face mask, for which we can control the vertical level and degree of the transition softness. There is also a way to control facial expression using this emotion section. In current version, emotional state is controlled by latent variables called source shot and source frame. Originally, they have relation to the training data set for our neural net, but in fact, they should be used for blind search for suitable facial expression by trial and error. As young Arthur wanted. The beige hue on the waters of the lock impressed all, including the French queen, before she heard that symphony again, just as young Arthur wanted. The beige hue on the waters of the lock impressed all, including the French queen, before she heard that symphony again, just as young Arthur wanted. The beige hue on the waters of the lock impressed all, including the French queen, before she In future versions, we will provide more human-centric emotional controls, like sad, happy, etc. If I would like to completely reset the whole demo to the original default state, I go to the menu and hit Reset Demo Scene.